Okay, time for an update on my solar panel system. Um, that's four 125-watt 12-volt panels on the rack, a 45-watt 12-volt Harbor Freight array on the ground, and then by the pole here, I've got another 12-volt 45-watt panel. Um, the small panel, I, I just take it up to the... Um, the lake where we have a cabin that's off the grid so we use that to run some lights at night I take two marine batteries with me and a little charge controller and a small inverter you'll see that in a minute these 12 volt panels are tied together in parallel two sets of parallel I'll show you the wires so these are the parallel wires here expensive per set of parallels or like 40 bucks a set but these are the wires you need you need 10 gauge stranded wire <clears throat> and then I run these into my shop here and I'll show you what that looks like inside okay not a lot of room in here and I don't want to move everything around to show you this stuff but I got two grid tie inverters these are 300 watt inverters so I've got one set of panels which is 250 watts running into one of them and then another set plus the Harbor Freight running into the second grid tie inverter and those are that's about it's 295 watts so the 300 watt inverter does just fine those run straight into my electrical grid through my kilowatt meter here so I can monitor the cost savings this is really a backup system the solar panels are this I keep it grid tied just so I'm not wasting the money. I'm not really in this to try to save money on electricity. It's so that if the power goes out, whether by EMP or just down grid, I can, uh, I can still have some electricity. I keep a um, uh, battery bank down here, which includes two golf cart batteries that are 6 volt and they're tied in series and then I've got two deep cycle marine batteries plus during the winter I've got my boat battery tied into it as well and they're all tied together with that little Harbor Freight charge controller and then the red inverter right there I have running to this power strip which is powering some lights in my shop so that 45 watt panel that's outside on the ground runs to this charge controller and keeps this battery bank full and then I use the electricity from the bank to run lights in the shop <clears throat> and then the other panels during the uh, when my power is up just runs right to the grid tie system now this inverter is not what I would use or this charge controller were the power to go out for any length of time uh, which means more than a a couple of hours a day you know if, if it's just an for one day maybe I'd be alright but for a couple of days I would switch to my other stuff I have a 2000 watt Xantrex inverter sitting in uh, a Faraday cage in a protected area along with another charge controller uh, I think if the panels get hit with an EMP there's um, a diode inside of each one of them that prevents backflow of electricity those would get fried I'd probably have to bypass that Otherwise, I'd get no downflow from the solar panels, but that's easy to do. Oh, I know, and one more thing I wanted to say. Uh, a 500 watt array of panels, if you're producing full electricity with that, gets you half a kilowatt hour if it's in the sun for an hour. So 500 watts is half of a kilowatt, and if it runs for an hour, then you need two hours to get one kilowatt hour. During our summer months, a solid six hours of sun on those would give me about three kilowatt hours a day, 30 days. A month is about 90 kilowatt hours per month. In the winter months, not so much. We get a lot of clouds here in the northwest, um, which is why I would like to put a wind turbine on this place too.